Hey, what's up guys? Chance here. Just want to show you a little video of, um, like in my situation, how I was having problems with my bio pellets and my coral started to bleach. I want to show you what to do in order to give it the best chance of, uh, of coming back and not dying. And the only way that I know to do that is, like for instance, here's a piece. As you can see, see the white at the bottom and then the white at the top? That's completely dead flesh. That's where, uh, corals expelled its zooanthellies, you know, which loses its color. So what we're going to do is break it off the base, cut up to good flesh here, and go to the tip and cut down to good flesh, and then reattach it to the plug. Same with this one. This one did the same thing. See where it's lighter down at the bottom, but it still has color in the middle. And this one I doubt will make it, but I want to try anyway. This one that was in my main tank that bleached out really bad. You can see it's just RTNing, but I still have that one good arm there. It's very small. Even if you frag, you should really never frag anything that small. But in this case, since this is dying, and that might give me a possibility of this, you know, at least some of it living, so we're going to try that out. But anyway, I guess first thing we'll do is uh, start off with these. And, uh, I'm not using bone cutters, so I don't have any yet, and actually I do want to order some. What I want to do first is to cut off at the base. Actually, put this. Just made this like little rack out of uh, egg crating, just to hold my frag plugs when I'm doing stuff. Do that. Dry that off. Alright, now with this, what we're going to do is cut off this white. See, I'm going to go, oops, sorry. I'm going to go back to where there's all good flesh. Just do a little, little snip there. Once again, go down to where you have good flesh and get rid of that. And since we're done with this piece, I can see now it's all, oops, sorry. It's all healthy. We're all good. I'm going to set that back there and let that dry off. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this one. Again, put it at the base. Cut it off. Fingernail. Clean some of the old glue off so I have a nice clean surface to attach to. Put that on there and let that dry. Same thing with this one. I'm going to go down to good flesh, cut that off, go down to good flesh again, cut that off, put that back in the water. This one, it's going to be a slight bit trickier. I want to see if I can, I'm going to leave this on the plug, even though all this is probably, all this is probably going to die. I'm just going to try to snip off this little piece right here. And it's going to be little, but let's see what happens. Wow, that's going to be really small. But as you can see, it has itty bitty. But it's worth a try. Really, I just wanted to show you guys how I go about doing this when I run into problems like this. <clears throat> All right, let me grab my glue real quick. Glue I'm going to be using is uh, Bob Smith Industries. Never mind. No, I'm not. This thing's leaking. Got all over my fingers. Any CA glue is uh will work fine. What I'm going to do though. I'm going to pull the piece and go on a frag and stick it on a paper towel <clears throat> to try to get a nice clean spot to stick to. Add a little bit of glue to my plug. Sit this in the glue and hold it. Um, whoop. Definitely not the best glue. The other glue is much better because it's a gel. Definitely recommend using gel because I'll sit there and hold it for you. As you can see with this, it's keep one. 
Yeah, we're going to glue them down. You can glue them upwards and you can glue them downwards. With these, I'm just going to glue them downwards. And as soon as they go in the water, a lot of the time they'll, the uh, salt water acts almost as like an accelerator for the, uh, the glue. Helps it take much faster. And actually, you know what? I want to go ahead and put both those small pieces on that same plug. And those should eventually start growing together into each other, that is, if they do make it. And then that way I'll use this other plug for putting this little baby piece on we have. And now you don't need to worry about getting these right back into the water right away because hard corals can stay out of the water for a, a good amount of time. I'm just dumping a little bit of water on there to help that uh, super glue harden up quicker. But yeah guys, it's just a uh, quick little demonstration. Got any questions, just uh, put them down below. Alright, thanks. See you.